welcome back to the channel guys my name is Matt and today I decided to come to Bay Eternité which is one of my favorite parks and uh, I've done the video here before I'll link it up here or down in the description it's one of my favorite videos I've done on this channel so far and uh, yeah no the reason that why I haven't been here in winter is because the road that leads up to the trail they uh, don't plow the snow so you have to walk an extra four or five kilometers to get to the actual trail Today I decided to man up and uh, do the extra four or five kilometers, but they plowed this whole road. So I'm guessing they're getting ready for springtime, like a spring cleanup. Um, and I'm hearing the beeps of the trucks. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm getting really close to the truck. So hopefully I'm allowed, I'm, I'm allowed to be here and the park's not closed or anything and they'll let me, let me walk. So yeah, stick around. If you do like the video, don't forget to Thumbs up, it really helps out. Well, yeah, let's keep going, guys. So he didn't let me pass. It's already plowed here anyway, so he was nice enough to stop what he was doing and let me pass. So the day is still a go. The sky is starting to clear up because it was white and it was uh, just really a dull day, but it's supposed to clear up in the afternoon. So hopefully I get to shoot some nice landscape. Yeah, the sun's definitely popping out now. All right, let's go. I'm just stopping here real quick because there's a big woodpecker and it's um, there's two types of woodpeckers uh, in the area and this one's the the, the big one so I'm just taking uh, pictures and uh, just filming it a bit but he's giving he's making it real easy for me to take pictures he's just just staying there so I don't normally do this but why not you know got the long lens so might as well use it On the trail now and it's uh, a bit more inspiring than those two big uh, snow plowed walls so I'm just walking in the forest the sign said I had I still have 3.6 kilometers and I'm, I don't feel like walking that much especially no one's walked here for a little while so I'm I'm, I'm in a pretty deep snow um, but it's okay like it's probably this is probably the last time I'm gonna do some uh, winter hopefully the conditions are in my favor but right now they don't look too good it's pretty overcast I was supposed to clear up in the afternoon but it hasn't so hopefully I'm not walking all this for nothing because I've been walking downhill this whole time so if I don't get anything today and I have to walk uphill it'll be a bit disappointing but Whatever, so just glad I'm outside, so let's make the most of this day. Well, I can't complain anymore, thanks to those two skiers. Look at that trail, so much easier. and that's uh, admiring the view and also the conditions are looking a lot better with the clouds as you guys can see here 
I am so happy because uh, it was just gray all day, like a white out. But I'm gonna stop wasting time. I probably have just like another kilometer and then we'll set up uh, at the viewpoint. So I finally made it up to the view where I wanted to shoot and it features this, uh, this big uh, wall of uh, mountains and mounts and hills and basically this is the bay here and then there's the fjord that goes east to west over there. Um, the clouds are looking really really good especially where the fjord is. Um, this location is more of a, like a, a sunrise location just because the sun really hit, hits these mounts a lot better but that's okay I don't really care if it's a sunrise or a sunset location you never know what's gonna happen so now I'm here I'm gonna stop talking because we got some really nice clouds I'm gonna keep going where the cross-country skiers uh, were skiing earlier today and try to find some uh, foreground and start shooting some really nice night light right now and the sun's right sorry I'm really excited this is gonna be a good shot right here now this is um, all this walking to get here was worth it just for that one shot and it's not even sunset yet we still have maybe an hour but basically what happened was I was walking all over this area trying to find some foreground there's a whole bunch of cracks a whole bunch of big blocks of ice and trying to find something was really really difficult obviously my main subject here was this uh, this wall this big wall here and um, so obviously I wanted to point my camera this way but all the cracks were kind of counterintuitive to the composition they were all leading they were not they weren't leading the eye but finally I found something that was sort of leading the eye into this uh, subject and basically what it is is we have this crack that's in the bottom right corner of the frame leading up to that block this triangle eyes block and then we have some nice little curves they're kind of just surrounding this block but also pointing the eye towards the black uh, wall here so and then like as I was trying to explain to you guys the composition then the sun peaked and it was perfectly in line with the composition and I'm really happy it was just yeah I know I'm just so relieved because this whole walk oh no I'm I'm really happy so okay so the plan right now is I thought I wanted to commit here but now I got the shot so I might try to find something else also this shot this what kind of sucks with this shot is because I was so focused on trying to get the sun star I don't know why I wanted the sun star I was so focused on trying to get the sun star that I put my uh, aperture all the way up to f22 and then I didn't shoot the foreground or the background at f16 so it might be a bit soft so yeah we don't i don't know about that 
I, I did take some shots afterwards, but the tripod moved a bit, so we'll see what happens. Luckily, I did shoot a couple of exposures at f16, and I could proudly say that this image is sharp from front to back. All right, so right now I'm just uh, experimenting with some long exposures. I figured since the clouds are coming towards me and I still have like a half hour to kill, I just wanted to do a couple long exposures and um, 30 seconds. And so this is basically the foreground. Um, it's not the best foreground. It's just, you know, a bit of the same. It's just a block of ice with some cracks, but it's not as nice as the first uh, composition. But it looks, let me see, it just finished here. Oh yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. I like it, let's see the, no, yeah, I like it. It's. Pretty good. I'm just gonna take a couple shots of the um, for the ex um, sorry for the shadow of the long exposure shot, and then I'm gonna try to find a different composition. So we're not getting the sunset I wanted. It's a shame, but we're like five minutes away. There's no colors. But it's okay because that first shot made it all worth it, this whole hike. It's just that shot I'm really happy with. And that long exposure, I'm really happy with it too because I haven't done a good long exposure in a while. After this shot, I simply couldn't ask for a better day. The effect of the long exposure relative to where the sun went down gives the impression that the sky is exploding. Also I have a feeling that the foreground is simpler, and I think I prefer it compared to the previous composition. Tell me in the comment section which of the two images you like best. If you did like the video please consider subscribing to the channel, it would really help me out and I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time. God bless.